welcome to this webinar hosted by Forbes Middle East in partnership with Schneider Electric KSA. Today we're discussing the future of food, ensuring safety, visibility, and sustainability in the digital age. Assuring food safety through digital innovation and solutions is now becoming crucial in this day and age as recent changes in this industry and of course the onset of COVID-19 and the market trends have put immense pressure on manufacturers to dis disrupt. Allow me to start with a couple of numbers that make this topic a crucial uh, topic to highlight uh, today. In the agricultural sector, recent experts uh, have shared with Schneider these numbers saying that the agriculture operation currently is using two thirds to three fourths of water and about half the land that humans uh, are consuming. This is all being used by the agriculture operation. In addition to that, agriculture is now the one of the biggest emitters of greenhouse uh, gases. These numbers are being used by uh, experts to highlight the, the importance of finding solutions from the digital uh, sector to ensure uh, food safety, security, and sustainability using technological solutions. This is why in Forbes Middle East, we highlight the current rise recently in uh, smart farms uh, around countries uh, in the Arab world, specifically in GCC, using the latest technology, artificial intelligence, uh, 5G, and cloud technologies to find these latest solutions. I'd love to interview uh, to introduce our experts in this field, and I'll briefly introduce uh, each one of them in their field, and we'll go ahead and start with the session, hopefully finding solutions and tackling these issues. Uh, I welcome Dr. Uh, Hisham al jadai who is the CEO of Saudi Food and Drugs Authority. I welcome also Mr. Abdullah Abayakan, who's the CEO of Abayakan Investment Group. Mr. Mohammed Shaheen is the cluster president, KSA and Yemen of Schneider Electric, and Mr. Nasser Abanmi, CEO of Arasco. Dr. Hisham, um, if you allow me to uh, start with you with one of the most crucial, crucial uh, points that we need to tackle with all of you uh, gentlemen today. Um, you have been leading really this, uh, your energetic team to achieve SFDA vision, uh, to be a leading international science-based regulator and to protect and promote uh, public health uh, in the country. How do you maintain checks and balances, if we can say, in the food sector to safeguard the people uh, and the consumers? And how has this pushed your manufacturers to do better in terms of production operations? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, when lo looking at talking about food, always we talk about food security or availability. We also think that food safety is essential. Uh, Nan safe food is not a food. So that's very essential. For us in the Saudi FDA with other regulators, we look at safety from farm to fork. And there are a lot of things that we, uh, we can do through regulation, through working with the uh, private and the uh, public sectors uh, to ensure the safety of food until it reach the consumer. Uh, with that, uh, there are a lot, a, lot, a lot of challenges and also innovations. We're talking about uh, new technology in, in food. We are talking about biotechnology. We are talking about uh, uh, innovative foods. All these things, we need also to implement safety measures to ensure of the safety of these food uh, uh, for, the, uh, uh, for the consumer. And this is the, has a lot of things regarding regulation, laboratory testing, and also uh, communication with the uh, private sector and also with the uh, consumer. Uh, we look at it as a, a holistic approach uh, from different angles. We work also internationally with our collaborator. We established the, uh, uh, the, uh, the forum for the heads of uh, food safety regulator around the world and where we share data information about that. We look at the future of the digital aid either of developing new foods, uh, biotechnology, or using the, uh, for example, the uh, uh, blockchain and tracing for the uh, different food around during the, uh, the supply chain of food from farm to uh, fork. Fantastic. These are some of the latest 
um, steps that you are uh, taking to ensure food safety to the consumer, which is at the end of the day at the core of all of your uh, operations. Allow me to take some of these steps to uh, uh, Mr. Abdullah, if you, if you may, you've also uh, been uh, a major player in manufacturing education services uh, in Riyadh, in KSA. As uh, someone with such a solid uh, presence in smart manufacturing, how do you think uh, your company is helping the kingdom's food and beverage industry through digital uh, transformation tools? And how do you think technology and the recent changes and trends have impact impacted the food sector? I think uh, there is a uh... Uh, a mega trend and requirement to the consumer. We will start with uh, building a trust. I think today the trust become very essential for uh, between the stakeholders. As trust means build validation tools, uh, reinforcement capability, empower people to create and build the trust between the stakeholders. And uh, this value getting more and more because they need to know, I mean, where is the product come from? And tra traceability, value around this product. Who is uh, do this product? What's the implication to consume this product? Customer, I think, like to go from education to conversation with the food providers. Because in the old days, the food producer, they are, in, in one way, they educate, try to educate the consumer. This not anymore. With this social media, with the, with the new environment, I believe in the digital age, they like to have conversation with all the stakeholders in the food producer. And uh, I think also with the digital capability, we can create smart. Smart means smart for, uh, to monitor, to expire, to, uh, to, to, to alert, to escalate, to connect with the uh, uh, authorities. And I think there is no more, I, I mean, uh, acceptable just a product, not connected, not smart, not uh, active uh, as, as a product. Personalization, people move from, uh, I mean, the product fit for all, they go for segment now, people getting to have more personalized product for each even individual. And we are moving in this direction. And I think uh, in the digital age and smart uh, manufacturing will help enable the producer to meet either the uh, requirement of the consumer or the rules and regulation and new policies come from the authorities for the food producer. Yes, yeah, there's a lot uh, to discuss, specifically when you mentioned building trust, which is such a major issue um, and affecting uh, a lot of the operation. I'd love to uh, go to Mr. Nasser with, uh, with the, some of the points that you uh, mentioned. Uh, Arasco, as we all know, is one of the GC's most prominent national food companies. Uh, how do you think your company is improving uh, your own uh, operation by utilizing and leveraging some of the digital solutions and innovative technologies? And maybe if we can delve into some of the challenges uh, you're facing to embrace these technologies because they don't come at zero cost. They have certain challenges that you are also maneuvering uh, to achieve results. Uh, it's a great question, and I, I'm delighted to be in, in this uh, panel with with uh, uh, Abdullah Al-Bekan and, and Mohammed Shaheen, and of course, Dr. Ibrahim, uh, precisely because of this uh, question. Arasco is, and it's uh, uh, relatively speaking, fairly young toward the digitalization, and uh, we are uh, thriving to build our capability, digital capabilities. Now, that being said, we... Uh, uh, firmly believe that the while we are focusing into uh, acquiring the digital uh, innovative solutions, we need we always need to uh, as a, a Tarasco to put business excellence uh, as a, a technology uh, uh, as opposed to technology products. Uh, uh, and last year we uh, launched uh, a various of our turnaround. Uh, and uh, transformation at Arasco and technology enablement has been among the uh, key focus areas uh, last year. And we followed steps of people that were ahead of us in the region and want to um, make sure that we uh, at least start wherever they are at uh, right now. Uh, the challenges 
of getting into the digital worlds for the food security. And I, I uh, build on what uh, Mohandas Abdullah uh, highlighted, and that is the uh, to ensure that you continue to have the trust from your uh, end customers. You need to keep an eye on the prominent uh, and evolving uh, risk of the cybersecurity that may uh, jeopardize the entire uh, chain. And as Dr. Uh, Hisham said, the, from the farm to the fork. And also the, the getting to the digital world, you, you always need to evolve and build the uh, competencies of, of the human capital and adaptability uh, and I see also uh, engineer Mohammed Shaheen with us here, and he's the best person who also highlights the importance of not only the tech technology, but the right people adopting to it. And, and the last challenge is the, uh, quite honestly, when you go to digital world, you need to avoid uh, boiling the ocean. And the- the uh, uh, term, boiling the ocean. Exactly, because the, the, the uh, universe, is full of, of uh, digital buzzwords. Yeah. And so you always be tempted to go and do everything at once. Yeah. You, you really need to focus on the main thing uh, uh, and one, one, one step at a time. Great. So as you thankfully uh, mentioned, Mr. Mohammed, and almost 18 years of experience that he has in energy management and uh, industrial automation, we'd love to hear your perspective um, as the cluster president of KSA and Yemen. What significant changes have you uh, witnessed in the past couple of years in this region when it comes to ensuring uh, food security throughout technology uh, and latest digital tools? Yes, it's, uh, it's a very good question in the right time, I believe. You know, during the last two years, especially when the, with the pandemic, we all felt that the food security is one of the most important things. In the kingdom, lots of focus on the food security, and as Mr. Hisham said, and the food safety itself. With the pandemic, with what we faced during the last two years, you feel that we need to control more our supply chain to ensure the safety and the food security, knowing that the kingdom direction is to reduce the percentage of importing of the foods. We have a high percentage of uh, food imports and the division 2030 is how to reduce that. So you can feel that the what we are facing, uh, what we are seeing in our region, especially in the kingdom, it's more focused on the local manufacturing of the food and beverage uh, supplies, how to develop more the, the, uh, the local manufacturing and to make it, uh, let's say, more digital and more smart. Yeah, efficient, basically. Yeah, you can say so. And you can see that in lots of directions. For example, when you see King Abdullah University for Science and Technology, are taking a real direction for designing uh, and, and developing more the, 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 the design of the, uh, how to, to, to uh, how to say, to do um, agriculture in a dry yeah. climate. Yeah, yeah. I, I, in fact, in fact, it's uh, it's good you mentioned that because the the numbers that I mentioned in uh, the beginning were coming from research from the university itself. It's doing a lot, spending a lot on research regarding agriculture and smart tools and sustainable uh, farming and agriculture. So exactly, and what is fascinating about that that you can see that the agricultural techniques are all based around technology. Yeah. And all the techniques coming out of the researchers of the university and uh, their science itself is saying that the food and beverage industry should follow the real technology. For us as a technology and solution provider, especially in this smart part, we see that it's a transition period where all the kingdom is focusing on it, the food and beverage industry, how to be more smart, how to uh, follow the full supply chain from, from farm to fork, as said by Mr. Hisham, it, this is the direction. How to be more traceable, the, the, how to, to, to find the safety. This is the real change we can see during the last period of time. This is the focus of the kingdom. Uh, we are all in the food and, beef, uh, food and beef industry with all stakeholders focusing on the same. Um, how to be 
more secure, more safe food for the kingdom. This is the, the, the main highlight you can see in the last couple of years for the food and beverage industry. Yes, and it's clear in the uh, recent steps uh, taken in the kingdom in this uh, sector that it is a core in their uh, strategy. Dr. Hisham, I know you had uh, a follow-up uh, on what we heard from Mr. Nasser. Go ahead before I go yes. to the next question. Yes, I have an addition to what my colleague mentioned. I, I think, and I agree with them, but I think uh, going to digitalization and also using technology, it's not, uh, it's not an option for us. It, yeah. it is a must that the direction for the whole world going there. If we, right now, think about it as a regulator or uh, farmers or as a manufacturer, we take it as a, our choice and invest in this and not just having it as an enablement. No, it's a, it's a choice that we transform all our work. Then we can be leading in this and we really can succeed. If we just look at it and how we can use some of the technology in our work, I think we may uh, not be in the uh, 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 in the front of this uh, of this uh, area. So, so I completely uh, uh, think that we need to uh, to push and, and master this area and transform what we think. For us, in the uh, regulator of Saudi FDA, we really have a transformation program for. Uh, thinking about the new technology in the in the in the food, how we regulate it, how we move forward, and also the uh, very challenging also developing our talents to be able to uh, to summarize, abstract, and understand and decide about these uh, products. So that's my uh, uh, my comment uh, on this uh, on this issue. Yes, as one of the experts, and I, I know you all agree, uh, uh, using digital solutions is no longer a luxury anymore, and and the cost of not using it uh, over, overlaps the cost of, um, uh, of ignoring it. So uh, I want to continue with you, but I want to focus now on the consumer because there's a lot of con uh, misconceptions uh, from the consumer point of view that some of these technologies may bring them the product in higher prices. Uh, some of these technologies may not be uh, as safe as the traditional classic ones we have used that our parents and grandparents have used. So as the CEO, of uh, SFDA, how do you perceive the effects of these digital solutions uh, on the end consumer? And how do you tell them that it is safer, it is better, it's more efficient, you're getting a better product with less cost? Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's basically uh, having trust with consumer is essential. Uh, trust in the regulator, in the manufacturer, in the farmers. Huh? So that trust is, is essential. Then you can take the consumer with you in the journey. Uh, we have a successful uh, journey, but it's uh, in, the, in the other sector, which is in the, in the drug. I mean, when we had the vaccine and using messenger RNA, uh, everyone is, is worried about it. However, uh, the data result shows the safety. The same thing. Now we, we have good food. We're going to develop uh, cultured meats, different things. People that are worried about it. Um, but I think with science uh, and, and also explaining all the detail to the consumer, uh, presenting the data for them, uh, we built trust with the consumer, then the consumer will go with us in the, in the same journey. Look, I've recently... I'd like to, I like to yes, explain... Uh, I'd like to explain how we get uh, more for the customer uh, and paying less. Because consu yes. consumer today, they expect to get more value and less cost. Yes. Uh, I believe we are in a platform economy, and this platform economy connecting the stakeholders, accelerating the innovation, and increasing productivity by eliminating waste and redundancy. And I think every company in food business or uh, in, in a country, we need to approach our uh, uh, customer relation and platform uh, base because the customer expect to get better experience, better transparency, less cost, and also fast for innovation. Because innovation today, it's very, very essential because the mood, the taste, the, 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 it's, it's, it's become a, a very speed to change or to, to, to go up with. And also the news, you know, today, if there's a, a fashion or a certain uh, trend in, 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 in West, people like to get it to tomorrow. If you are not response and agile, you will lose the opportunity and you are missing opportunity. And this dynamics uh, should be empowered by technology. 
and building a platform for all the food producer or every single producer and approach it to the customer and in, in, uh, in, in, uh, to enable uh, the relation in an agile way. Mm. Uh, thanks for that. Just to comment a little bit also on what Dr. Hisham, you mentioned uh, cultured meat. I recently saw a video uh, of 3D uh, meat made completely out of 3D printers. I'm, I, I have issues uh, um, being convinced with such a product. Maybe we'll be discussing this very uh, soon as well. But I'd like to hear from you, uh, Mr. Abdullah, a little bit more on your uh, packaging uh, solutions. You have innovative packaging. <coughs> Uh, solutions that play a crucial role in reshaping this industry that we're discussing. Can you give us some uh, real examples? Uh, today, uh, th there's a mega trend. We are moving from dumb to smart. Yeah. Nobody will buy any more, uh, I mean, uh, dumb surface or product or uh, houses or car, and everybody moving to expect smart uh, surface or product. Yeah. If you, as a company, if you don't really have infrastructure, to supply the smartness for your service or product, you were missing uh, the, the market share and missing the customer requirement. And today, the level of uh, uh, level of, uh, of uh, quality expecting today, we are talking about zero defect, just in time, uh, agile, fast, uh, react to the, 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 the dynamics in the competition. Uh, we need to build infrastructure by technology to respond to our customer and also tracking the, the packaging, expire of the packaging, talk with the packaging, closing the loop of the supply chain, moving to prediction in, 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 uh, for your customer and consumer. Don't wait for a customer ask you uh, a product. We need to move the prediction, prediction mode, and the prediction will increase productivity, will increase customer experience. If I need this product, I need it today, I need it now. And if I don't have infrastructure enabler from a technology point of view, I will not achieve this. And this yes. is uh, a culture, technology, infrastructure, and also leadership to drive to see where we are heading for to improve the customer experience and eliminating waste because consumer looking for more and paying less by yes. eliminating, eliminating the waste and increasing the productivity. Yeah, increasing trust and, and being proactive as well as uh, hitting corporate as to uh, rightfully you mentioned, not waiting. Uh, for that complaint, not waiting for that demand, anticipating and being proactive uh, about it. Let me ask Mr. Nasser around this topic. Uh, do you believe digital solutions are helping you or, or will help you uh, tackle the end-to-end -end, uh, traceability challenges uh, in your operation, which is, we, we talked only a little bit briefly about this. And how do you foresee uh, increasing transparency in this uh, process, not only within manufacturing, but, but the whole uh, value chain? Uh, I'd like to build on uh, Dr. Hisham's uh, comments on the uh, remarks on the, on the uh, I'd like, it's my word now, uh, the necessity of technology. Mm. It's not anymore an option. Uh, yeah. It's not a luxury where we choose or not to choose. Yeah. Uh, I, I share with him the belief that it is now uh, eminent more than any time before. Especially the government here in KSA are probably even faster than the private sector in terms of moving to to uh, the digital world. Uh, Alaska, going back to your Alaska is uh, products are either directly consumed by human or they are consumed by animal which are consumed by human. This is uh, extremely close connect to the end to end. Uh, consumer, and, and then so the traceability becomes critical uh, to ensure that, uh, as uh, Dr. Hisham mentioned in his opening uh, remark, that ultimately, and I will go and building on, 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 on uh, General Abdullah, ultimately you need to uh, uh, instill the trust on the consumer, because here you are, you are bringing uh, a product. At Arasco, we leveraged the steps that we have taken in terms of uh, uh, making sure that we have control over the value chain from the origination outside KSA uh, on our grains, throughout the ships, throughout the uh, discharging those grains into our uh, uh, port facilities, 
throughout our logistics arms to the manufacturing until it goes to the end consumer, be it in our uh, bra- uh, protein brand intag or uh, through uh, our uh, animal nutrition. That traceability, while we are still on our journey to digitalization, allow us to ensure that not only we have uh, control over the value chain, but also, God forbid, whenever you have uh, rejects or product return, we can easily go back and, and identify uh, where did we uh, miss uh, uh, in the chain. And so the, the, uh, we have also an experience with uh, Intage where we, whenever we uh, produce Intage, we can also uh, always uh, monitor the entire chain. So our uh, chicken, when it reaches to the end consumer, uh, we can uh, immediately link it back to the farm that was actually uh, started. So uh, it, it would help us. And that's why, once again, the technology is not anymore uh, enablement. It's not anymore a choice. It is a necessity not only to the celebrity, but also to ensure that you instill the trust with the end consumer. Mm. Yeah, of course, being precise and uh, understanding this concept that it's no longer a luxury is, is obviously the first step, but you're True. way ahead uh, of this first step now. Let me ask Mr. Muhammad, if you allow me, uh, how do you think some of the solutions that we heard from the uh, gentleman um, have pro- propelled manufacturers in the F&B industry to reach new heights, to, to achieve new goals, not only assuring food security and safety, but also reducing emissions and the carbon footprint, which is such a big challenge. Only a few years ago, it was just an afterthought. Uh, and now we are feeling the heat, uh, if I may say so. Yeah, just uh, let me reflect first about the, the, the point of consumer, because I can see that the smart solutions and the traceability, it, it, it affects the consumer 100%, same what all my colleagues said. You can see that it improves the relationship, the relationship with the consumers. We are all consumers. We are all buyers of food. We need information about the product. We need to know what is the ingredients, uh, what is the nutrition score, what is the allergen uh, or the allergy uh, of the uh, ingredients, the environmental impact. Such kind of information built out of the traceability over the product gives us as consumers a kind of trust of the product itself. So the smart and the, the smartness and the digitization and the technology in the products, it really affects the consumer. Where we are all, just thought about it, we are all the consumers, just as, yeah. as human beings, as personal. This is what we need. Back to your question for sure. We can see that the, um, the food and bed industry uh, in general was lacking the, um, let's say, the, the, the digitization and the smart world. And one of the recent uh, grant studies it speaks about 80% of the food and beverage organizations are really lagging the analytical and business intelligence capabilities. While we see that to have a real success inside the kingdom, it is based on uh, to start have a smart investment and, and, and digital life. Companies need to invest as per the industry 4.0 technologies and practices industrial edge computing, internet of things, uh, internet of things systems that will allow all the manufacturers to produce differently. I am capitalizing on what uh, engineer Abdullah said. It's, 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 it's becoming the real smart world without the smart packaging, without the smart manufacturers. We, we cannot improve the food number uh, uh, industry itself. Hmm. Okay, this is the, the, we've now shed a light on the present mode, on what's being done now, on, on how this past uh, year or two years have, have really sped up uh, the digital transformation. I'd like to look with Dr. Hisham on what's coming. Uh, we said predicting is very important. Uh, how 
do you foresee, what changes do you foresee in the food industry that you think manufacturers should keep an eye on, uh, looking at how uh, this transformation, as you mentioned, what do you foresee that's coming up? I, I think there are two things. One is that uh, to have the uh, biotechnology, to have the uh, um, uh, different uh, products, uh, innovative foods uh, that's coming out. And the other component, which is very, very interesting, uh, and, and engineer Abdullah mentioned it uh, a little bit, uh, it's about talking about personalized uh, products of food. So in, in the food industry now, we are talking about nutrition. Nutrition, how come if I, uh, uh, is it good for me to select this type of food based on my uh, metrics, based on my BMI, based on my calories consumption, my activity and all that things. So really we are uh, in the food industry and also in Saudi Arabia, there are interests of this uh, in, 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 in many of the projects for digitalization in Saudi Arabia is that to, to reach a point where as a consumer, I will scan a product and then they will tell you, this is good for you based on your own data or it's, it's better to, to like uh, another product. This will change also the, uh, the manufacturing and some of the process and maybe uh, we will have more of a small entities as a manufacturer. Maybe now we are relying on the big farms and big manufacturer. I think we will get sometimes maybe a small manufacturer who maybe manufacture food for me and for my family only. Huh? And they know the data. So, so we need to cope with this in terms of regulator, in terms of logistics and, and many things. So I think this is coming in the future, personalized uh, food or personalized product the, to the uh, consumer. And I think uh, uh, we are in Saudi Arabia working in, in different uh, uh, areas uh, and, uh, in the food industry to, to be on the cutting edge of, of, of this uh, development. Uh, and, and really, I encourage everyone uh, from uh, as a regulator or as a manufacturer or in the supply chain to jump in this opportunity and be uh, a leading in it. Yes, I keep. Uh, uh, I like. I like yes. to comment on this, if possible. Yes, please do. Uh, uh, we need to monitor the marriage between uh, infotech and biotech, mm -hmm. and we need also to see the acceleration and the wearability and the smartness of uh, our wearability and sensors uh, to connect the cloud and also connect the AI. With this uh, together, we will find the new domain, new space for either, as we said, personalization, innovation, uh, productivity, prediction, all this, uh, and the speed of uh, uh, melting uh, biotech and infotech and wearability and AI, this is will have different the space and different dimension in our life for food and for, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the, the consumer requirement and expectation. Yes, commenting on the personalized experience as well. I keep seeing these jokes that uh, personal assistants, technology assistants like Alexa and Siri will be also preparing our foods in the next uh, few years to come. I don't know how uh, <laughs> how scary that is, but that's on a lighter note. Engineer Abdullah, I'd like to stay with you uh, on the issue of uh, how do you think you're supporting food manufacturers specifically in the kingdom uh, with the latest product innovations? Um, and do you think this has encouraged uh, somehow an ecosystem of end-to-end -end, uh, supply chain management, which in turn also is ensuring food security uh, and sustainability? Yeah, we, what we did last uh, couple of years, we built a platform to uh, uh, increase the productivity. And this is, we use it for Vacan, and now we are deployed in, in our customer. A productivity to eliminate costs, eliminate waste, and to to, uh, to 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 be more competitive. Second, we also improve the customer experience either for our customer or consumer by getting smarter in an either traceability or with with the, with the interlink between our production and our customer uh, requirement. Third, we improve also the engagement for um, employees to give their or have their life much easier and they have an enabler to do their job in a very effective way. And we are now uh, creating a new business model and start to offer uh, moving from CapEx to OPEX for our customer. It means we can uh, not sell any more machine or packaging. We can also get a step in, in our customer uh, uh, factories and operate their factories 
to be for a customer, uh, I'm very effective. Uh, to be and, and ready for autonomous economy because every all the steps uh, we are moving to autonomous economy and bullying economy and this is uh, coming uh, like you know a tsunami uh, anybody will not be ready for it will be left over yes of course they'll be left behind um uh, mr nasser i'd like to end um uh my final question to you is regarding the obstacles that some of you have mentioned, um, reducing water consumption, reducing carbon footprint. Uh, how are you planning to use technology to, uh, to overcome these uh, challenges? And are you investing in agri-tech to pave the way for maybe new different methods of farming that's also ensuring uh, food security and sustainability? I, I like first to uh, maybe build on Jirir uh, Abdullah remark, uh, and that's that is very critical. And, uh, and, and I I believe you cannot put the uh, horse before the wagon. Uh, mm -hmm. And the fact is, and he he said it beautifully. And until you have pro an established process that is processes that are built on business excellence, then that any any technology. Uh, any uh, the whole all world technology will not help you. So uh, I, I, I uh, always Why you uh, say that? because without process, without business excellence, without the right model, the technology is gonna be a, a fancy uh, thing that is not gonna give you or even the end customers the uh, desired results. And, and so the digitalization, uh, and that is something that we always need to remember. Is, is, is a buzzword that probably people will go without themselves establish the right process in place. So without yeah. having the right process, and then Jira uh, uh, Abdullah said it probably two, two or three times, being smart in your operating model and establish the, the right proximity to the customer, it comes first, it is second to none, and then you augment it with the right technology interventions and, and enablement so that you become faster, you become smarter to, to, to reach customer need. Now, going back to the scary, if you will, situation where we have uh, the agriculture is, is consumed or responsible for two thirds or three fourths of the water. That is scary and, and the government have taken a very decisive step six or five years ago uh, to ensure that we have a conservation of, uh, of water. Now, the visionary founders of Arasco have, uh, while they are focusing on the animal nutrition, have continuously put the water uh, conserv conservation as a top priority, even three decades ago. And so it's getting the, uh, instead of getting only mainly the grains from, uh, from abroad, the founders have established this compound feed, which can help converting the animal nutrition or the feed to uh, meat. And so that, that ratio will not only help conserve the uh, water, but also it will g give, uh, and as, as Abdullah said earlier, uh, it will have the uh, red meat uh, or any uh, meat uh, for that matter, any protein will be in a very good attractive price to the end consumer. Uh, that was a big change and uh, the, uh, collaborating with, with uh, Ministry of, of Environment, Water and Agriculture and, and, and their uh, uh, improvement plan that was launched uh, mid of last year uh, to help uh, the uh, growers, in particular, the farmers, uh, to move into a better model. And we, Arasco, uh, started introducing the smart feeders for the animals so that we have predictions of when the animal want, uh, needs the, the feed, rather than you do it the uh, traditional uh, disrupted way. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to that direction. But again, I re-emphasize on business excellence comes before anything else. Okay, I, I, I recently, I'd like to uh, second that uh, a recent expert in um, smart farming uh, had, had done their math and told me 
that they uh, calculated the end um, cost of the end product for the consumer is actually 30% less uh, than uh, traditional uh, farming uh, because they use less water and less CO2 and so it comes faster and a less production cost. So uh, he had given me that number, 30%. Exactly. And a high efficiency as well. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. And, and high efficiency as well. Yeah. Yeah, and the quality of the end product itself. Allow me to end uh, now with Schneider, if I may. Uh, we've now discussed some of the challenges. We've discussed some of the solutions and that pressure on manufacturers uh, to, to use uh, technology just because they want more, the consumer wants more efficient, resilient, traceable, uh, sustainable uh, products. How is Schneider enabling these manufacturers to achieve uh, these goals, again, with the consumer uh, at the core, the heart of their operation? Yeah, actually, we uh, we are uh, supporting the whole stakeholders of the food and beverage industry. Let's say uh, all the manufacturers are looking forward. One of the key manufacturers in the uh, in the field are using our har hardware and software in specific to help to manage the production requirements, initiate process improvements. Um, they initiated like how to say it. Um, uh, a model approach to help and accelerate the production deployment. They are standardizing uh, the production itself, where they can have templates by uh, our solution softwares. These templates integrate the workflow. The result is faster production, more agile manufacturing, better access to manufacturing data, where it help and empower the team to make smarter and faster decisions. It improves the factory efficiency. Um, the effect is wide where you can see intelligence hubs inside the factory that can provide efficiency. It is, uh, it's taking the operations itself in a different uh, directions where it's it, uh, fac facilitating the new era. Uh, this gives a kind of visibility and intelligence product coming out of the factory. Um, also, when you mentioned a lot about the farms and the irrigation uh, waters, we have one of the world's, the world's largest uh, data oasis uh, beside Al Ahsa. Mm -hmm. and, and there we had uh, a big solution uh, done with them to reduce the water irrigation by 40%. It, it, it's just, um, if we speak about an area of 16,000 hectares, uh, it's, it's a big, Yep. Farm, for, yeah, it's a big farm for uh, for dates, and um, just with the PLC and the softwares and the I don't want to speak lots of technical, but by adding the uh, um, let's say the RTUs to facilitate the SCADA with the water flow, all that end up by these these palm trees uh, uh, oases reducing the water consum consumption by forty percent. It's it's a real uh, energy efficiency approach. It 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 goes with the sustainability and how to really reduce consumption of our planet resources. It's it's not becoming um, it is not a, a luxury anymore to forget about sustainability and reducing the consumption of our resources in the planet. We will all need it, and the coming generations will need it after us. We don't start from now working over the sustainability, the whole plant will, will suffer. So mm -hmm. such kind of smart solutions, increasing the efficiency, in, in ensuring the re reduction of the carbon emissions, and so on and so forth, I see it's becoming a must rather than a luxury and fancy talk. Yeah, definitely. I think you all agree uh, on this point. Unfortunately, this is all uh, the time we have uh, for today. Thank you so much for your valuable insights. We discussed the future uh, of food, ensuring uh, food security and safety and sustainability. If I may do a quick roundup and some new terminologies I picked up as well. Uh, today, you, all of you gentlemen, emphasized on building trust with the consumer. Uh, you've also mentioned cybersecurity and how important it is to tackle uh, that issue from several uh, layers as well. Uh, I've heard for the first time this terminology, which is farm to fork, 
uh, which is obviously a terminology in your uh, industry. You talked about uh, agility, uh, faster, better operation, tracking uh, the operations, and you all agree that technology is no longer a luxury, uh, which is why uh, your industry uh, is now leading the way in uh, smart solutions. You also discussed the importance of control, controlling the value change and the operation, as well as being proactive and predicting the demands and the needs of your uh, own uh, consumers. All of this using the latest technology from AI to 5G to cloud data to IoT or the internet uh, of things. And I'd like to uh, uh, finally end with the note that uh, Engineer, Engineer Abdullah also mentioned this wonderful smart connection between biotech and uh, infotech. Thank you so much for joining us uh, on this webinar hosted by Forbes Middle East and thanks to our partners as well, uh, Schneider and KSA. All the luck to you gentlemen in leading uh, the way for forward in uh, smart solutions and smart agriculture. See you next time.